Welcome to another exciting edition of Travel Guide. If you are new here consider subscribing. Today we will be visiting the Hollywood sign Los Angeles. If you're looking to hike and get some exercises there are multiple trails that will take you to the Hollywood sign. To get there, there is walking to do, about 30 minutes to go, and 30 minutes back, but it is worth it with a view of Los Angeles. Once arrived at the end, parked your car, and continued to climb, but this time on foot. This is the beginning of the trek. You can see it from all over Los Angeles. You are the one that decided to hike all that way to get close to. So you can get off from the cab and walk from park, or you can ask your driver to go little up from there. However, not many people know that you can actually climb up to behind the sign and get awesome views of La. There are maps posted along the way so you can't really get lost, and there are water fountains placed periodically along the trails. But be aware of how you park because if you park with your car outside the white lane you will easily get a ticket. Follow the route Lake Hollywood Park Mulholland Highway Durand Dr. Heather Dr. Ledgewood Dr. Rock Cliff Dr. Duranda Dr. Mountley Dr. Tip, if you want to reduce the hike, book Uber Lyft to the location 3398 Duranda Drive, Los Angeles, California 90068. A Great Hike The Bat Cave, which is to the right when you walk up to the trailhead is pretty neat, but of a drive to get to Lake Hollywood Park, but nice to see homes in Hollywood Hills, and great views of sign when you get there, must have visited this site at least once in a lifetime. While you're at it, also study the history about the sign, you can get pictures with the back of the Hollywood letter in the front of you picture, but it's not a good place to take pictures of the sign itself, the neighbors know this is a popular place to visit and have a variety of items in their driveways to keep unwanted visitors from parking in their driveways, which is understandable. Huge, globally recognized, and brilliantly located overlooking Los Angeles, the Hollywood sign is one of the reasons why people visit the city. The hike up to the sign has lots of great views best on a clear day, and the sign itself is pretty impressive, and mostly lives up to its reputation. The whole thing is a path, and you can take shortcuts on the way up or down if you don't want to go to the observatory. There are multiple trails up to the Hollywood sign, but one of the easiest starts at the end of Durand and Drive. If you do the hike then it's worth it, cause if not it's really overrated. The park in there it's great for chilling though not much to do there. You can jog, or do a normal hike, make sure to bring a bottle, or two, or water to quench your thirst. It gets windy, and chilly so if you're going there for the sunrise, or sunset make sure to dress a little warmer especially during fall and winter. The best views of the sign are not from the top so enjoy the views of the signs on the way up. Huge, globally recognized, and brilliantly located overlooking Los Angeles, the Hollywood sign is one of the reasons why people visit the city. do a Euro TMT get your hopes up. However it is really cool, and there are a few places where you will get a great view of it, and no, one being Lake Hollywood Park. You can drive up to the location, and eat a Euro TMS the best view you will get of the sign. Eat a Euro TMS also a great view of law at night time. This park is great, and to get to the sign is a good walk so if you want to do some exercise, and get to a beautiful landmark this is a great spot. The Hollywood sign, it's more than just nine white letters spelling out a city's name, it's one of the world's most evocative symbols, a universal metaphor for ambition, success, glamour. You'll also learn about the people who work to keep the sign preserved, and protected, and how you can get involved. So come, and explore the fascinating past, present, and future of this international icon, a monument that sparks a thousand dazzling associations. Parking is easy at the bottom of the bath, and you can stay as long as you want on the top. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, and leave your comments below.